So those of you that are, that are here, this is what we're going to do, okay? We're first going to unpack our point A and who we have been. We're then going to unpack our point B and then who we need to be, okay? And then I'm going to do a process and we're going to do some shifting and things like that. So I want to really ask you, and I want you to, to be with me. And I started talking about this last week, but we're really going to make the shift this week. What's been important to you in the past? What's really been important to you in your past? And I'd like you to type in or take out a pen and write it down. What has been important to me in the past? Awesome. So you might write things down like success and love and contribution. What's been important to you? Doing a good job. What's been important? And I want you to really get this. I want you to write these down. So do me a favor. If you're on here live, type it into the chat box. I won't call you out by name, but it'll be interesting for me to see what people are typing in. I just want you to answer the question, what things have been important to you? If you were to look back across your 30, 40, 50, 60 years on the planet, what's been important to you? What are things that you've said, that's a priority, that's important? So I'll do it with you as well, okay? So here's what's been important to me in the past, okay? Really what's been important is, is learning. That's been super important to me. Growth. Growth's been important to me. Success has been important to me. Um, achievement's been important to me. What else? Making money's been important to me. Serving others has been important to me. What else has been important? My family is important to me. And I can go on and on and on and on and on as I decide what's been important to me. Thanks for typing in. Nice. So I'd like you to do that for me right now, is to really, really have a look at what's been important for you. What have you wanted? What have you wanted to have up until now? What has been important? And it's, it's good to do this, and I do it a lot, to really look at that. Really, really understand what's been important to you. Nice. Good, good, good. Feeling balanced, growing, self-development, helping others, family, getting my health in order, happiness. Nice. Happiness, good. Lots of good stuff. That's what's been important. Great. So the second part of this question to really get this nailed is, so what have the results been that you've been able to create in you know, our four Fs, okay? So by being this person that values these things, we've got our four Fs, yeah? So our four Fs, so we've got fulfillment, We've got uh, family and friends. We've got finance. And we've got our fitness, our health and fitness. So I, wanna, I want you to give yourself a bit of a rating on the four Fs. So one to 10, and just type it in. For fulfillment, one to 10, how fulfilled has focusing this way made you? The first one says fulfillment. I can't even read that by looking in your screen. This one says fulfillment. <laughs> so out of one to 10, how fulfilled has this personality been? Hmm. Cool. Next one, um, family and friends, one to 10, like how much have you enjoyed that? Family and friends, like how much is that? Is that where you want it to be or not? Nice. So family and friends, next one, finances, one to 10, where's that been? Finances, where's that been? That's all right, man. That's all right. Just keep it real. 
And then lastly, fitness, your health and fitness. Your health and fitness. And so this personality created that. And that was that's, this is an identity, okay? And this is so important to understand. And I, I want to just, I want to keep asking you this. What was this, what was this person or this identity? You know, what, what was their, what was their big goal? Nice. Thank you. Thanks, David. What was the big goal or desire? If you were to, if you were to look at that version of you, what would you say is their big desire? Hmm. That's a good question, isn't it? What would you say their big goal is? It's a hard one to answer, isn't it? But if you think about what that person thought about the most, what is it? What did they want more than anything? Hmm. It's going to be a state. It's going to be a feeling that they were aiming for. Did they want to feel significant, feel proud? Did they want to feel love, safe? Did they want to feel rich? Did they want to feel successful? Did they want to feel smart? What was that person's big thing? Hmm. Freedom, time, connection, happy, love, safe, happy. It's a good question, isn't it? It's a good question. And so I hope that you're starting to, to see and understand who this identity is because we have so many identities. And so, so here's the next question. Okay, so we talked about the big desire. The last question is, this person here, what was their biggest fear? What were they most worried about happening? Looking bad, failing, um, being judged, not being smart enough, um, going broke, having no food. What was this person's biggest fear? Now, as you, as you ponder all of these things, your old desire, the results, what you valued, I want you to feel the disassociation you have to those things. It's just something that was made up, which is interesting, isn't it? It is just interesting. And so by looking at this, we can start to create a new structure and we can start to understand who it is we're going to be. So I want you to do one thing for me. I want you to choose one area and we're going to work on it one area at a time. So the first area we're going to work on is fulfillment. We're going to do a bit of a meditation to really allow this to come through who we need to be to be feeling completely fulfilled. Awesome. So let me ask you a quick question. What is it that you would be doing when you're completely fulfilled? 10 out of 10, filled up with life. What is your life like? Now, that's a really good question that I'd like you to answer. What is life like when you're completely fulfilled? Hmm. It's the most important one. Le living a life worth living. So, right. 
It's exactly what is happening. Who's having a hard time answering that? Let me know. Yeah. What is a life worth living? Hmm. See, the, the other ones are easy. The other ones are easy. Oh, I would love to spend time with my friends and family. I would love to, uh, you know, have energy and, you know, have a healthy, functional body that looks good. You know, I'd like to make millions of dollars. True? Is it just type in a true if you get it? The other ones are quite easy to decide on. Want to make lots of money, a little bit of time, want to have a good, healthy, happy body, and I want to, I want to enjoy the people I live with. Is that, is that a fair statement? I mean, I've, I've helped about 8,000 people, and, you know, typically those other ones are easy, but we, sometimes we get stumbled on this one of what is a fulfilling life? What is a life worth living? And it's actually the most important one, isn't it? See, the question you have to ask yourself when you're over here, and that's what we're going to go into right now, when you're living that, when you're living fulfilled, all of the others, all the others lead into it. All of the others lead into it. So let's start to really design this and let's start to use our intuition to to not just put something out there that we think we want oh it is easy to measure for sure nice oh we can measure it not with an instrument though but people know it when they're feeling fulfilled for sure you get what you're saying so let's think about this and then let's let's go into it. It's definitely a feeling. And there's there's not too, you know, uh there, there's not too many um that are more important than that. So we're gonna do a quick meditation and we're gonna feel into what it's like to be that person, okay. And then when you open your eyes, you're going to notice and we're going to type in and write down what it is um, that we value and what's important, okay? And that's all we're going to do for now, and I'm going to teach you and show you the next step. Everyone ready? So if you're ready, put down your pens and paper, sit back, put the computer down, the phone down, stop cooking dinner and typing into me in the side. Whatever it is that you're doing, just, just, just be with me. And just close your eyes for a second and just imagine that you're living your life completely fulfilled, completely fulfilled. You have, you wake up each day, you love it. You're doing what you are put here to do. And let's just feel into that and breathe into it for a second and just, just feel what it's like to be a person that, is so filled up with life that energy is just bursting out of them. What they get to do that day, they love. Just feel what it feels like to be that. They have everything that's so filled up. Now I wanna ask your unconscious brain, what's important What's important to this person? Because they have it all. I want to know what do they value the most? So stay in that energy, open your eyes and type it in. Being in this energy, what's truly important? Contribution, time, focus, laughter, nice, playing full out, mm. relaxed, nice.
Hmm. What's truly important to this person? Type it in, let me know. It is a feeling. Family, stability. Being extraordinary. I like them. I like them. Look at them all coming in now. Here we go. Helping others. Awesome. So let me ask you, what came out there? Is it the same or is it different to this person and what they were focused on? Yes or no? Is it the same? Yes. Or is it different? <laughs> it's different, isn't it? It's different, isn't it? How is it different? I'd like us to examine this because I know when we examine things and we can understand them intellectually, we can then process them unconsciously better. How is this person different to the person you wrote down before? Nice. More giving, that's a huge one, larger scale. Nice. Yeah, true. Achieving more on a consistent basis. You guys are getting it, it's good. What else? This, yeah, this one really has a sense of knowingness. Did you feel it? Real knowing, like belief, it was done. What? I'm so excited for my day. I get to do what I love. I'm, but notice that it was true. It wasn't, oh, I'm a millionaire. I'm so excited. It was like, man, my life is awesome. I love it. Fuck yes. He was relaxed, felt free, wealthy, and had huge crowds. Great. Feeling of certainty. Cool. This is your new identity to live from. Absur absurdity. absurdity. No, a feeling of certainty. <laughs> Sorry, uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of you are just typing into just me and others can't see it. Yeah, it'd be funny if he was feeling absurdity. <laughs> That's funny. The feeling of certainty. <laughs> so who feels the difference in energy when we go into it compared to your old way of living? It's a massive difference for a lot of us. And it, here's some of the things that was different for me. Old Chris was always trying to get somewhere. He was, he was trying to do things. He was in a rush. He was all these things. This Chris, centered, happy, giving, big, doing lots. This Chris, this Chris over here, always was trying to solve something that was wrong with him. This one here knows that he's not perfect, happy about it, knows he's got flaws, happy about it. This one over here, trying to fix himself, always searching for other things, looking, rushing. The, this one here, content, happy, centered, truthful. This one over here, trying to do too much, all sorts of stuff. And so here's the challenge. We need to play this game. We need to be over here because from here is where you create from. This is where we create from this is where we create what it is we desire being this person and so what we need to do by the way who's enjoying this session is this good just a bit of a bit of mental uh, understanding of these two things because it's true it's true to all of us that we have a self now 
and then a self that we are stepping into. And it's also true that time doesn't exist. And so we don't have to keep replaying the past in our future. We can shift to a new way of being. And so the challenge is, is to shift in that new way of being. And then as you do it, notice that you'll keep, you've changed so much already. Perfect. You'll notice that you'll keep getting pulled. This one has been got so many grooves. It keeps pulling back, pulling back, but you've got to choose to be this one. And so here's what I want to ask all of you. And it's an important question. Can you right now choose to be this new version of you? Can you choose to live from there? Can you make that decision? Like, this is, this is me now. I'm going to choose to live from that. Let's go in it again so that you, yes, it is, and that's why you're here. So we'll, we will have you solid over there for sure because the challenge is to stay firm in it. Yeah. Let's just go into it again. Let's go into it again. Let's just experience it again. So close your eyes. How would it feel if you were living a life where you were totally fulfilled? What would it be like to just be so content, so fulfilled, so happy, so in love with life? How would that feel? What would it be like? Just, wouldn't it be nice to just wake up each day completely on fire, in love with life, doing everything that you love? Wouldn't that be nice? Just imagine that now. There it is. How does that feel? And now that you're here, stay here with me. And I want you to look back in time and space and remember that old version of you. <laughs> you know that old version of you that always thought they were broken and had to try to change them and was worried and trying to show off and prove themselves and all those sort of things. Remember that? Remember that version of you? Remember back to them? Now that you're here, What was the obvious next step that that person needed to take in life? When you've got the obvious next step, open your eyes and type it into me. Top no road in. Well, I won't. Share it out, but nice one, nice one. That's a really good next step. What was the obvious next step when you got to open your eyes and type it in? Nice, nice. Lots of good coming in. Good. Let go, allow it all to flow. Nice. Believe in myself. Do something I love every day. Clean the deck, make space for abundance by clearing the gunk. Nice. Lots coming, lots flowing in. 
So, question is, what reservations do you have about taking that step? Type them in. What are your reservations? What holds you back from taking that step that you need to do? And just blow them out right now. What holds you back from doing it? Type in your reservations. How do you, how are you already making up reasons why that's difficult to do? What's your reservations? You've tried it before, it didn't work. My business might fail. Good. I don't know enough. Good. I don't know where to start. Good. You, <laughs> you don't actually think it will work. Next question. Next, I don't, nice. Next question. What inner conflicts, what inner conflicts do you have about that step? What in a, how are you conflicted? That's what it means. Like, you know, part of you wants to do it, part of you doesn't. Like, what's the story? What's the conflict? Yeah, nice. Well, it's not nice, but nice awareness. Yeah. What's the conflict? How are you conflicted about this as your next step? Mm. Good. What judgments do you have about this step? Hmm. It's okay if you can't describe it. It's all right. I've seen a couple of you write that in. It's good. I'm not, I'm not reading anyone's out. Just letting you guys write them in. Mm. So, true. Very true. It is. Good. Good awareness. Good awareness. And so we have this negative tension that's there. Can you all feel it now? Where, all right, I want to be here. This is who I am. I want to be this. I've been, I know I need to take this step, but I'm not taking it because, yeah, good, good. I wanted to get you in the tension, but I'm not going to take it because of these, these stories, these rules, these inner conflicts. Last, last question, okay? Yeah, good. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, Mary. Hey, Mary. We've just done a, a structure and we're just finding some stuff. How have you resolved? How have you resolved this tension in the past? So it's not the first time that you know you need to do this. So how have you done it in the past? Oh, it's all too hard. Oh, I'm not good enough. I have to go learn more stuff. Oh, I better overthink. What is your safety pattern? Oh, I'll do something else. I'll get distracted. Oh, this, oh, that. What is it? Tell myself a story. Go and read some books. Distraction, overthinking. Yeah, <laughs> all of them. But specifically, you know, like 
How how have you in the past avoided avoided making that step? So you've got these reservations. So so that's just so so you're here. You want to be here. This is the step you know you need to take. These are the stories you have about it. And so instead of taking this step, you take this step over here. Yeah, working on myself and learning more about human behavior rather than just taking the action I need to take. Nice. Fair, fair enough. Me too. I'm, me too. Well, we, um, the way that we ended up here, Mary, is we, we went into our future we decided on the next right action and then we asked ourselves, well, what judgments, what inner conflicts, what reservations do we have about taking that action? And then we said, well, how, and then those pulled out. And then how do we stop ourselves taking the right action? If you are taking the right action and you're in your end result, and that's probably because you've been doing this work for three months with me. No, 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 no sorry. I'm glad, I'm glad you made time. Glad you made time to get here. I know, but uh, it, yeah, it will definitely serve you even more to to get the the context uh, as well. But I know, I'm just glad you're here. So feel good, feel good. And I'm down in Melbourne soon, so I'll see you. Nice. Just reading through some just now. Good. So I tell myself a story about getting bored and go try to do all these other things rather than doing the thing that I need to do to get to where I want to be. It's good to understand our structure. We're here, we wanna be here. We need to take this step. We have a story, things around taking this step. We avoid the step by doing this other thing, which keeps us safe. Now, Type in a yes if this all makes sense and you've got some awareness. Just let me know if you get to there because it's important to understand this. Nice. So we must shift to the new identity and take the step necessary. So we must spend our time building this identity and taking the action. Action is the highest form of behavior. So you'll know when you are this identity because you're taking the action. Let me give you a metaphor. You know you are the forest when you start planting the roots and the tree starts growing, the right action. Does that make sense? You know you are that. So then you hold to it. So we need to, make the, we need to take the first actions. Any other actions like this are us not planting the right seed and growing to where we want to grow. Right, we've got to have a, a seed, plant, grow one tree, seeds, grow many trees, grow a forest, grow another forest. That's what we're looking to do. We're trying to grow something big. And so what we've got to do is we've got to be okay. For some of us, we've got to be okay with this tension. Some, tell me, is there anyone on here? I've already seen a few of you write in. Who are the people that whenever faced with they need to do something, their way of getting safe is to go try and heal themselves. Who's got that? I need to understand this. I need to go heal myself. It, the, the truth is, I, I don't want you to think that way. Those people, typically, we need to get into the end result and start conditioning and taking the action. Who are the people that always need to go get more information? Where are my information junkies on here? I don't want you to go get more information. We have to break the pattern. You have to trust yourself and believe you have enough information. Who are the distraction people? Well, instead of doing the thing I need to do, I'm going to go do all of these things. I'm going to go get distracted. I'm going to go try all these other things. We need you to have your lenses. You need to be diligent with yourself to take the action to, to be this person. <laughs> And so who are the, the freeze people? And they don't do anything. Ah, I need to do that. Who are the, I, I just wanted to be perfect. I'm just going to talk about it. Anyway, there are a lot of ways that we do it. Here's my one rule. 
You're allowed to, you're allowed to do anything you want but it just needs to be the action you're supposed to take. (laughs) I don't really care which one you are. I just need you to take the action because what's going to happen by you taking the action that you're, that you know, by you going into your fulfilled, complete identity, you know, it's the right action. True. You need to take that action. And here's why. Here's why. If I'm sitting down and I say to my brain, I'm a standing up person and I don't move, does it believe me? Yes or no? I'm sitting down. I'm saying, it's funny because I'm actually standing up. I have to sit down to do this because it's just going to be, it's just going to lose it all. And and David's going to give me some. I can already tell that's his personality. So we come down, and if I'm sitting down, I have to, I, and I say to my brain, I'm a standing up person. I'm a standing up person. Oh, I'm doing the meditations. It's so good to be a standing up person. Look at me. I'm so, I'm fucking good at standing up. Ah. And we don't stand up. Right? Does our body believe us? No, there's a point where you go, I'm a standing up. No, now I'm a standing up person. I'm standing up now. Does that make sense? I'm up standing, outstanding, whatever you want. Do you guys get the point? All the work that we'll do can be completely pulled apart by refusing to take action that's uncomfortable to the old identity. I'll say it again. All the work that we're doing can get pulled apart by your refusal, refusal to take the action that you need because of the uncomfort to the old identity. Everything can fall apart if you refuse to take the action that's uncomfortable to your old ways of being. That's all it's uncomfortable to. It's not uncomfortable to the world. It's not uncomfortable to other people. It's only uncomfortable to your old identity. And so you can't sit there doing a meditation about being a millionaire, knowing the action you need to take, and then sitting in your sabotage pattern, reading books and doing all these other things. Give me a yes if you've got this, or do I need to keep on making my point? It it will be uncomfortable to the old identity, won't it? But it's only uncomfortable to your old identity. It's, it's the first step for your new identity. How's that? If you don't take the action you know you need to take, All you're doing is reinforcing your old ways of being. No sitting in meditation will help. You must take the body that is trying to control you by saying, don't do that, it's uncomfortable, and say, no, I'm in charge, and this is what we need to do. And that's where all the work is. So I want you to remember that one thing that you need to do. Now, for some of you, it was clearing space, letting go. Great. That's the one thing you've got to do this week. And what's going to happen is as you take that step, there's going to be speed bumps, isn't there? And so there's going to be speed bumps. There's going to be things that pop up, that show up, that make it uncomfortable. And that's why we have the meditations. That's why we have getting you in the feeling of this new end result, getting in this feeling of this new identity, and then taking the action. Without the action, you don't, your body and your brain isn't in complete alignment with the new way. You must act, you must be in the new identity.